we have great interest from uh, restaurants and bars to continue. These bright orange fences have been called an eyesore and an accessibility nightmare. But for restaurants, these extended patios have helped them survive the pandemic. Now, Councillor Evan Woolley wants to make them a permanent fixture in the city, pandemic or not. We live in a winter city. Uh, in a lot of ways, and in the summer times, we want to enjoy our outside. There have been concerns from the disability community. They can be difficult to pass through with a wheelchair. But Woolley says if they become permanent, they'll be on roadways, not sidewalks. We had significant challenges around the ramps getting on and off the street. But given that any new permanent setup for that would leave the, the sidewalks fully open, we just wouldn't have those challenges as we had. Definitely got us through uh, a tough period when, when people were maybe still a little bit uh, reluctant to head inside. Jeff Jamison owns this restaurant, Donna Mac, and says the extended patio added 45 extra seats on top of the 75 they already had. But with physical distancing, it was the saving grace for revenue during the pandemic. You know, restaurants uh, and bars just went through the worst 16 months that they have ever experienced, um, and we're not out of it. Uh, we're dealing with some very severe labor shortages at this point. Um, many of us, including myself, aren't even able to open our regular full-time hours due to the fact that we can't staff our businesses properly. Anything that we can do to support that community, um, obviously I'm biased uh, as a restaurant owner, but uh, I would like to see that support. Making them permanent means more investment, and that fluorescent orange may be a thing of the past. They may look like this patio in Vancouver, on the road, with a nicer design. They weren't very attractive with the big orange barriers, but those orange barriers would not be a part of any future patios. Uh, because the patios would be out on the streets, we'd have some specs for them. The one piece left to work out is traffic. Calgary 17th Ave is one of the city's most congested roads, especially now to make way for patios. Woolley says that issue needs more attention. We still move cars and buses and, and people up and down those streets, and so that still needs to work. The motion brought to the Finance Committee Tuesday will be discussed again at Council in September. In Calgary, Taylor Broad, City News.